oh my gosh. I don't need this when I'm pregnant. Zane, what have you done? We may need to move. And what the hell? Why is Zane stealing my baby thunder? Hello, and welcome back to another episode of our Not So Very series. And this is the pregnancy episode. So as soon as I join, I actually get a pop-up asking if... I was about to call you Caden then. You were definitely not Caden. Jaden, that's that's the confusion. Would like to sign up for another term. I am gonna say yes. Let's do two classes. Whilst your wife's pregnant, great idea. Great, wait, girlfriend's pregnant. This often happens genuinely when you ask Sims to go to uni that you don't control. They basically never graduate. It's very confusing and very annoying, but we, he's also got a scholarship. <gasps> Jaden going to university on a scholarship. You little clever pookie head. Well, we can pay for that because we've got a bunch of money now. Thanks to you moving in and also Luke. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. You're having an emotional meltdown, but a happy emotional meltdown because you can't wait to be a parent. Okay. And also, you, okay, you're a little less single and you do have the single and loving it lifestyle, which I kind of feel like you may be about to lose considering that you're definitely not single and loving it anymore. So in the last episode, a lot happened. Jaden moved in they did woo woos and those woo woos resulted in a little babble -roo. so i've actually taken out slice of life because i've added the woo woo wellness mod which i think is now called the relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod basically because it adds a bunch of fun extra stuff to pregnancy and i thought that could be the focus for today's episode we have not yet told zane so we've got all that to go but my sims now will have a preference as to whether they want a child or not so zane who you know is very much playing the field <gasps> you're meant to be you're late for class. Oh my gosh, get up. Go to, go to uni. Go, 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 go. Okay, so Zane does not want a child right now, which makes total sense for Zane. Jaden is very neutral. So he was neutral regarding children. If it happens, they'll roll with it, which is good because it has happened. And Briar, oh geez, I was not expecting that. Briar actually would be happy to be pregnant. So that has kind of worked out very well for me because she is pregnant. So if we'd have been entering the Wee Wee Wellness mod and she would have been like freaking out about it, we'd have known about it about now. So I'm really glad that we've luckily rolled the dice, installed the mod and ended up with that would be happy to be pregnant. Why can I hear a baby? Oh, it's the cat. Wait, where is the cat? Baby cat's up here. Oh, Neil, Bubba, you're about to get a little brother or sister. And work for Briar starts in an hour. Okay, you've got that pregnancy wee-wees where you got a wee-wee all the time. I don't think I have enough time to hack my work performance. I'm on level three now, I think, yeah. I will try to do a little bit of it anyway because it might help me for my if I can break off and go back to it. And we are still using this method to try and get ahead. And she's feeling confident. I will be the best parent. My child will love me so much. That is actually foretelling the potential truth because, fingers crossed, Blue Gen, which is the next gen, is meant to grow up with a very happy and stable home. And Forrest, of course Forrest is happy that we've landed a new boyfriend. Thank you, Forrest. So your current GPA is a C plus, Jaden. I'm going to get you to just do your homework, get working on a few bits and bobs. You're also a Spirit Squad member and a Bot Savant member. And you have a lifeguard beach towel. You must have been lifeguarding as a side project at some point. And you have work in two hours. So it's a, it's an all out working household right now. There's a lot going on. Apart from for Lawn Mower Zane, who does not have work today because he is working on the Strangerville mystery. You still need to get yourself that key card though. Who are you daydreaming about? Sabrina. Who is Sabrina? Who are all these people that you constantly daydream about? You are just absolutely terrible, but I absolutely love it. Okay, Sabrina does not seem to be anyone related to the lab. And I need to get this key card. So I need to invite somebody that's kind of... I'm going to invite Caitlin over because Caitlin might be able to get me a key card. In fact, she's nearby. She's just over here. Okay, she's got the conspiracy theory top on. So maybe she can get us access to a key card. First of all, though, I have to better her up, make sure that we're friends. So... Why don't we channel surf together? And oh my gosh, Briar's gone to work with morning sickness. That is not gonna help with her work performance today. I'm still trying to get her desperately to meet her co-workers. It's kind of not happening. Her co-workers, no matter how much I get her to socialize, she never actually meets anybody that she works with, which I don't know if it's a bug, but it's very annoying and I need to make some enemies. So we'll try and figure out what we do there. And oh my gosh. Hi, Jaden. It's me, Eliana. 
Do you want to go out on a date? Um, no, old lady, I don't. Jaden, you're kind of in my way here. I'm trying to butter up this lady. Don't you have, like, work or something? Work in six minutes. Okay, boom. Once we've got work, we'll sit on the sofa together. We'll butter up good old Caitlyn and see if we can't get a key card, you know? Boom, off you go. Oh, and she's moved straight over. She knows exactly where this is headed. Ooh, Briar got a performance boost again at work, which is awesome. And how is it possible to literally be wearing a colander on your head? And still be this smooth. I don't understand Zayn. Saying the power he holds is just unbelievable. Oh, and she I have to do scientists on military personnel. I can't even get one from her. Oh, what a waste of time. Who else can I hit on? Okay, so we've got a scientist to hit on now instead. Good old Chloe. And has somehow got, I mean, somehow got crab lice. This is with the woohoo wellness mod. It's not that much of a surprise, really, is it? And okay, I think she's gonna give us a key card. <gasps> I really shouldn't be doing this, but take this key card. It will give you access to all the doors in the secret lab. But be careful, no one has been there since we sealed the doors. Thank you, Chloe. Your usefulness is over, though. Now he's gonna go home and tell his partner in crime, Neo, because you guys hang out together all day, all about his keycard dastardly plan. <gasps> And she's been promoted again. It's because of the job opportunity. That's helped me out so much. She is now an ace engineer, which is fab. But Jaden did not get a promotion. And he's feeling blue. I think, like, he says he's lost a friend. I don't know who his friend is that died, but somebody died. Also, if you're interested, Amy made detective and Trey became a painter. So I think that's really cool. Oh, he, he seems like he was friends with Kai. Maybe that's who he's sad about. And Briar is feeling very focused. She's playing her old game that she used to play in uni, which is Sim Scuffle. Um, she's focused because there is a new life within. She's overwhelmed with delight at the feeling of his baby growing within. She can't wait for it to be born. And she is now in her second trimester. Oh my gosh, did I switch down? I think I made my pregnancy two days instead of three. Oh, okay, we got to do some pregnancy related things, Jaden. Let's go enthuse about the pregnancy with him. Like, because she's feeling good about it and he's feeling down. So maybe we cheer him up by talking about pregnancy and talk about what we're going to do about a baby room. Because let's face it, we don't really have a plan right now and there ain't nowhere in this house for a baby room. Maybe we should take your mind off things. Can we like go somewhere for this baby? Can we like go and get some stuff or go to like a screening or something? I can, okay, I don't want to donate baby to science. I thought you could go for like, like, um, wait, there's pregnancy classes. Why don't we go to a pregnancy class together? Okay, let's go and go to an early parenthood class or go to birth class. Let's go to birth class and, oh, you're now feeling happy. Okay, that's good. You can also come to birth class with me because I think that's important. Oh, what? You can't go to birth class? What? Why can't boyins go to birth class? No. Okay, why don't you go and buy something for baby instead then? I think you can offer her to go to your pregnancy class, so maybe we'll do that too. And then luckily tomorrow is Saturday. Oh, I do work. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I've got Saturday off so I can like discover the baby's gender and all that kind of thing. But no, I'm working Saturday. And he's bought baby a robot. I love that because I like the idea that, you know, like Briar's really into tech. So I feel like he's kind of bought this robot because he's like, I think she'll really appreciate that I'm buying like techie things for baby because he's so cute. And now she's feeling very confident. The birthing class was apparently quite intense, but she did a good job. How tired are you? Okay, can you finish doing your hucks before bed, baby? Just some some speedy little hucks. What do you say? Park your work performance. Just re I know. Okay, you've got back pain and you're exhausted. Okay, fair enough. Just go straight to bed. Okay. It was a mistake asking a pregnant woman to do this pregnant as well. Like if you look at her tummy, she's quite pregnant already. Don't there dare be twins in there. I've had enough twins. But asking her to start hacking her work performance at half 11 at night was probably an error. Let's face it. Okay, go ahead and get some sleeps. <gasps> you're not meant to sleep on your back when you're that heavily pregnant. You're meant to sleep on your side, Missy. Hopefully you switch over in the night. And okay, Zane can't sleep because he has intense itching from the crab lice on his head. However, he does now have a key card to the lab. So maybe what... And also you've had a coffee. That's why well, you also can't sleep. Maybe while the sensible heads sleep, you go ahead and check out the lab. Now, who should we bring with us? We did do that whole woo-woo with Violet. I think we should bring Violet with us. And, you know, then we'll be able to catch up with them. Ask um, for a Yelp review, maybe. Okay, is Violet here? Violet is sleeping. Okay, this could be an error, Zane, but looks like it's just you. Why don't we go ahead and use this key card? The difference between me doing this with Cody, who was like scientist, so prepared, tons of research, 
built a lab inside his house just to try and figure out what was going on. And Zane, who has basically woo-wooed his way to success, somehow stumbled through that, is amazing. And I love this. <laughs> okay. Good luck, Zane. Go ahead, use that key card and see what is beyond. Spores. Lots of spores. And we've completed the personal spy bit of his aspiration. So now he is a pathogenic investigator. He's got to collect spore clusters, assemble a hazmat suit, and traverse to the deepest part of the spore lab. Wait, where are you going? How do I gather spore clusters? Like, this looks like a spore cluster, but I don't know how to collect it. Oh, I need to find an infection scanner by questioning military personnel at a local bar. We're gonna continue with the James Bond approach to his life. And he'll probably, let's face it, try and woo-woo his way into getting that spore scanner as well. He is James Bond. This is what James Bond does, okay? This is how he's so successful. <gasps> And oh my gosh, the bloom begins. Leaving the secret lab, you can't help but notice the sky is sifted to an eerie color. I don't need this when I'm pregnant, okay? I don't want a bloom and infection and pathogens when I'm pregnant, Zane. Something has changed in Strangerville and not for the better. Opening the lab door must have released some kind of toxin in the air. We may need to move. I'm not kidding, Zane. We may need to move. You will need to find a way to protect yourself from the spores. Try talking to people around the town and see if they know something that might help. Zane, what have you done? Zane. Zane, what have you done? The spores everywhere, Zane. This can't be good for baby. Okay, Jaden, we need a, an exit plan. We need an exit plan, most definitely. Oh, and I come home and look. For some reason, Jaden's downstairs watching TV. That's just Sims altogether. But Brian must be having trouble sleeping while she's pregnant. But she's lying in bed holding her tum tum. That's so cute. And I think she just switched the TV off from upstairs as if to be like, Jaden, bed now. <laughs> I need cuddles. And cuddles she might have. This is also a better way for pregnant mamas to sleep on the side like that. Although I don't know where the bump is going. Jaden's body is probably like a little snake right now. And I think Zayn might have a caffeine addiction. Just to add to the other calamities going on in his life. Okay, what are your gender predictions? I am secretly hoping for a girl with... Briar's like skin tone and freckles. Oh, he just kissed her head. Oh my gosh. But... Jaden's eye shape, which is the same as Amy's eye shape. That's what I'm hoping for. But obviously, I am kind of at mercy to what the game gives us. And there's spores everywhere. This is so bad. This is so bad. I hate this. I'm in trimester three in five hours, and I've probably inhaled a million spores. And oh, Jaden, you actually have work in an hour. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Can you do like a lice rinse or something? Because I don't want my babies getting head lice. I think you need to buy some lice shampoo. There you go. Not so wonderful lice killing shampoo. Good man yourself. Clear out the vines. <gasps> this is just not right when you're pregnant. Oh my gosh, this is the worst storyline to start alongside being pregnant. I don't know how I did that oversight quite so badly. Okay, I'm gonna suggest you get a shower upstairs. No, 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 no. Jaden, get rid of that right now. This is not good for your pregnant wife. Clear out the vines. Don't have woo-woos in vine shower. That's Zane behavior right there. We don't do that. Okay, please no vines come out of the shower that I was just in because that would be so gross. Okay, I think we're safe. I think we're all good. And we're feeling really happy today. Super overwhelmed with the feeling of the baby growing. Can't wait to be a parent. She's had like the happiest pregnancy of all the pregnancies I've ever seen, which is really nice. Oh, and well done, cleaner bot. Vacuum away those vines. Good cleaner bot, well done. Maybe cleaner bot that we built, by the way, is vacuuming away as many spores as it can to try and protect us. Okay, so... It's Saturday. I really want to do baby's gender. The thing is, I finish at five. So we do have enough time. I'm not finishing at seven anymore. Are you? But you better be hacking your performance. Mediating the forums. Burn the forums, babe. You want promotions. You want to get them now because you're going to be off work for a while. Forget Reddit, okay? Sign out of Reddit and start hacking that work performance. I'm warm. These sims are heating me up. Jaden, what can you do with your day? We've got time. We've got time. We've got money. You can spend the day maybe building a baby nursery. And you know what else I think we need genuinely? On the outside of this house, I'm going to go to the stuff that comes with the Strangerville Park because I think you can get an air filtration system. Where is this air filtration system? Because I want to put it on the outside of my house, okay? Purify it, right? 
There are spores everywhere. Get me a purifier in this house right now. In fact, right next to the door, as soon as you come in, I want to breathe in purified air from the second I step in the house. Thank you. And genuinely, at this point, I'm feeling... <laughs> I feel like um, Zayn needs to have one of these. In fact, he's got a shower upstairs that I haven't finished decorating yet. Oh no, you do have a nice shower. I want to put this vertical nozzle in. Here we go. Because if you're coming to and fro in from that lab, I would like assurances that you're not spreading spores onto my baby's face. Also, while I'm here, this has been annoying me for so long, but build and buy takes ages to load into my game. So sometimes if I see something annoying, I just leave it if it's like, I can't bother to go into build and buy mode. And if we do have a little extension for the Babalaroo, what does the house look like? What would be the, how could we do this? Hmm, what would be a good place for an extension? Because we've got this whole little balcony situation here. What I'm thinking is I might make the balcony exclusive to the master. We may change up the area a little bit. Make this like all their room, or at least from here, all part of their room. And then we can put the baby room in there. In fact, while we're in build and buy, let's just do it now because we're going to have to be able to fit in a baby situation. So I'm going to put that wall there. And then this is now all their bedroom. So that's way cooler for them. And it means that I can put... I mean, if you're in, tri if you're in trimester three almost, that's a good time to start buying baby things. And I feel like we won't have a whole nursery yet because you don't really need the whole nursery till they're a toddler. When they're a baby, they just kind of stay in the crib anyway. And I'm gonna get a green crib because we're still in green gen. Or should I get a blue one for blue gen? Now let's get green because it's still in green gen's room. And then when it graduates to being a toddler, then we'll do a whole like blue room situation. Although I don't even know if I, even this looks green in this room. I don't even know if I want to be living in Strangerville with a newborn or at least definitely not with a toddler. That whole situation does not sound ideal. Okay, baby situation set up and done. What about a little lumpy next to it as well? You kind of need a little chair probably to like feed baby on too. So why don't we do a little lumpy on this side? <gasps> what about a planty lumpy? Oh my gosh, yes. And then we'll do like a little comfy chair to sit in. And I know Sims don't do this. They don't sit in the chair to feed. Just such a shame. How have we still got the, the, like so many things about this game I'm noticing recently. The babies are still fed like just over the crib. That animation has never changed since it was introduced. But that's not how people feed babies. That's like not how babies are fed. So yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. When you notice these things, it's kind of annoying. There we go. We've got a little area to sit and feed baby as well. And why don't we put a little rug under two? I'm like so shocked that she's got the I'm so ready to have a baby thing. I don't know why, but I really didn't picture her. I thought it would be more him being excited. But it's kind of cute that in the end, it's actually her that's like super hyped about this baby situation. I think that's really nice. I was kind of worried that, you know, I was excited with the way things were going. So I'm like, yes, we must make them go this way. But my Sim is excited too, or her little pixel brain is telling her she is anyway. Oh, and you're stuck. No, 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 don't skip work. My Sims always get this. They get stuck in like little areas like this. So I'm just gonna get rid of the big server. It's it's taking up too much room. And you weren't meant to see this until you got home from work. <gasps> Wait, the crib is trapping them. Oh! I can give them an exit for their bedroom. <laughs> How did I forget that they would need a way to escape the room? Wow, that is that is very Claire behavior, let's face it. Okay, let's move all of this along a bit. Okay, hopefully they can escape now. Okay, there she goes. Off she goes to Scarpian. I feel genuinely bad even sending you into work like this pregnant. And let's face it, we don't need the money. This is the richest I think a not so very sim has ever been. Maybe since Scarlet. Yeah, more parallels to Scarlet, by the way. However, the fact is you need to reach the top of this career. So I'm going to go ahead and send you in. Have a good day at work. And don't forget, work hard. And don't socialize with the co-workers because apparently you have none. Oh, and all of these plants sure are looking big right now. Oh, and Neo's looking at the crib like, hmm, what's going on here? This doesn't look like a cut bed to me. Jaden, if you're feeling down, you're still really... Uh, maybe he's thinking because Briar's pregnant, like... My mom and dad won't be able to meet their grandbaby. Maybe he's thinking about that. So I'm going to let, let him spend a whole day hanging out with Neo, okay? Because, you know, you love cats. You love cats. So I feel like you probably will be actually really excited to spend a whole day with the cat. And I need to build some more robots because I love the guy flying around in the background. He just makes me really happy. And look, you're already friends with Neo, cutie beans. Love that. Look at this. Neo was just such a chill cat. Neo literally gets on so well with everyone. Little treat for Neo. Cute, cute, cute. 
Oh, and what's cool is the next gen needs to adopt a child as part of the rules for blue gen not to which is the final gen, by the way. So if I keep this mod installed, then they'll be able to talk about adoption like future people down the line. And that would be really cool. I'm going to get him to go and buy more things for the baby. Maybe shopping will make him feel better. And then since you want to be a chef, why don't we get you to do a little bit of uni work? And then maybe you can cook something nice for when the guys get home. Work on your cooking skills since you are studying it at uni. And Briar's producer started sending panicked emails to her several times a day. It's hard to get any work done when she has to keep handling every one of these little emergencies. She can either ignore the emails or research a larger solution. Let's go for a global solution. And boom, we got another performance gain. I keep getting these opportunities, which is so helpful. And okay, Zane is back home. Zane. Zane, go use your might shampoo. Right, you need to get into a shower. And then whilst you're in the shower, I've got to go to your inventory and use the medicine. No more itching. There you go. Your lice are gone. You're fuming that you even got them in the first place. And now I have to seduce someone from the army. So once... Jaden's done a little bit of work. I'm going to suggest we hit up the bar together. Little bromance action, because you guys may be future brother-in-laws. Once the wedding stories pack gets updated, I do want to get Briar and Jaden married, especially now they're expecting a baby. But I don't want to do it while it's so buggy. I want to wait until things get fixed a little bit. In the meantime, for this hazmat suit, I can get him to speak to the curio guy over here. <gasps> curio shop is closed. Oh no, it's open, it's open. Here we go. It's like they knew. Okay, so this person has already got an infection spanner. Oh. The military have the infection scanners. Okay. What about our scientist woman? They're always out and about around town, which is super helpful. So let's question her about the spores. Also, because Zane is a geek, he's loving all this. Oh, and this person says, use a chemical analyzer at the secret lab to construct an infection profile data. Bring it to me and I can construct a spore filter. So this person has the materials for the filter. Okay, I definitely need a military person like Cameron Smiley. Will he still be smiley after I've talked to him? about strangerville though and there's a lot more people infected right now i kind of feel like zane's probably gonna get infected soon let's face it okay we gotta convince this guy to give us one he's got one no don't leave i need you <gasps> i can just straight up bribe him amazing i'm so glad we got all of that money <laughs> Because now I can just bribe people. I really shouldn't do this, but whatever. The government has tons of these. Okay. <gasps> and what did you do to my PC? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've just left you here to fix the PC. You could have died, Jaden. Literally the day before the baby is due. Please don't die. Please don't. Stop thinking about how cute cats are when they sleep. Although it's very true. Okay, I accidentally left Jaden studying for longer. A what? Oh! <gasps> How are you smashing through? Did I get her the easily promoted thing? Did she inherit it or something? I've got... How is my aspiration completed? Project manager. I'm a webmaster now. <gasps> they get the most out of their computers and looking extremely useful ways to use them. What? I don't know how I'm getting promoted as fast as I can. I think those opportunities coming up. Oh, and I'm level 10 in both of these skills. That could be helping. So I'm now level 5. I've been working like a couple... Well, she is hacking her performance as well. Maybe that's it. But, Jaden, break away from your PC. I'm having a whole moment. I'm feeling far from being pregnant. And I'm also really angry. Lots of emotion. You you made me this way. We are going to go find out what the gender of this baby is. Now, I don't know if you can get a little ultrasound picture or something. That would be so cute. But, okay, here we go. So, discover baby's birth gender let's do it forest obviously is getting intense fomo right now there's no option for Jaden to do this too so what i'm gonna do is have him go buy something for the baby but it's actually him going to discover the gender too just work with me role play gang role play please okay predictions in the comments now what do you think it's gonna be forest is wondering whether i want to go to his house and hang out the thing is she's at this appointment and if i say okay it's gonna pull her out the appointment so i actually do have to say no to this one because how... I know I'm not me I'm meant to say yes to everyone, but she's literally at the appointment right now. So... I can't. I can't do it. Because look, she's literally there discovering her baby's gender. You can't just walk out of an appointment because your bro wants to hang out because he has FOMO, you know? I will say yes to all the other ones, but I just... I can't do it for that one because it would mess things up. And Jaden's also bought a little toy dinosaur. <gasps> oh my gosh, I realized he's bought blue toys. Because look, the dinosaur's blue. And wait, where did the robot go? Where the hell is my robot? The robot was blue as well. You're just buying blue things. It's like, you know. And look at this. How nice to prepare for the arrival of a new baby by purchasing some items. <gasps> Your baby will be born a girl. Oh my gosh. 
We're having a grill. We're having a little girl. Okay, I'm actually really excited about this because the final gen has to cheat on a partner and then throw themselves into their family oh, afterwards. Oh, and like, this is not good for baby. Please calm down. <gasps> oh my gosh, the size of your boobs right now are something else. Then has to like throw herself into the family. And I really want it to play like a really homebody female sim with like a little apron and little skirts and stuff. So I'm really, really excited. Do you get an ultrasound oh. picture? No, you don't get an ultrasound picture. Oh, that would have been so freaking cute. You need to, you're very angry right now. I'm not surprised, to be honest. When you're this pregnant, I'm not surprised that you're like feeling that angry. I, I can totally get it. I'm going to have Jaden try and appease her anger. Why don't you give you a little massage? And then he's going to be like, I'm going to go to this parenting class. It's just going to be a bunch of pamphlets anyway. You stay at home, have a bubble bath. I'll go to the parent class and we'll just do things that way instead. I don't know if she's too angry for a massage. No, no, no. She still wants the massage. Came home straight into her PJs to come and chat with her robot. Okay, she's definitely very angry. Very angry right now. There's a lot of anger going on. I love that she's been so chill throughout all this pregnancy. And then like at this stage, she's just like, get this baby out of me. Oh, wait, no. She's like, no, I want to come too. Okay, she's like, no, I'm angry, but... I'm still a mom. I'm still a mother. We're going to this pregnancy class, so. But he, he's like, yeah, your pregnancy class. And she's like, ugh, other people. I'm so sick of being pregnant. Enjoy your birth class together, guys. And we are now in trimester three. Give birth in who knows he. Now, I'm not going to give birth at the hospital because I added a hospital to this game. I can't remember how I did it, but it's freaking huge. And it always bugs out. So we're going to do a home birth, natural Water birth. We're going to do it in the bath. It's going to be wonderful. Actually, no, we won't be doing a birth in the bath because the plants are going through the sinks. Okay, just, just straight into the crib. Just like, yeet. So we will do, but well, hopefully that will happen tonight or tomorrow morning. Zane is still out sleeping on a park bench. Okay, Zane, park bench Zane. While these guys are at their pregnancy class, why don't you go and collect some spores? That could be a good idea. And why don't we bring conspiracy gang? Plus Violet. And what the hell? Uh, Violet, what the hell? He, his attractiveness will be going through the roof because he fancies everyone here. What the hell? Can I ask, is this my baby? I mean, he's not getting any emotions about it, so maybe it's not. Offers to go for counseling for unwanted pregnancy. Is this his baby? I'm trying to save Strangerville, babes. I don't want babies. What? What is happening? What is happening right now? This can't be for real. They woo wooed once in a club cloakroom. And this is what's happening. Is she actually pregnant with his baby? Is it his? How do I know if it's his or not? Would he even get these, like, options if it wasn't? Well, the baby's gonna be riddled with fumes now. If it's not born an alien, I will be shocked. And he can offer to go for counseling for unwanted pregnancy. Is that because he doesn't want a baby? Oh, jeez. Oh, and everyone's, everyone's at appointments. Okay, great. It must be his baby then, right? Is my brother's baby going to be born before my baby? Is this actually happening? What the hell? Why is Zane stealing my baby thunder? Okay, he's come back from that with an intense urge to rob someone. And it was not really helpful. Okay. So Zane seems like he's going to be a father as well. I mean, she looks pretty far along. That's a trimester three walk if I ever saw one. Oh, gosh. Okay, great. So glad you guys decided to just do some casual club woo-woos and change the course of my life and your lives forever. I'm going to just go scan a bunch of spores, okay? I'm just going to scan some spores. Oh, jeez. Oh, he can't scan without a hazmat suit. He passed out. Oh, Oh no, I tried to get him to scan without a hazmat suit. Oh my gosh, what is happening in this episode? <laughs> You're gonna be a father! You tell him he's gonna be a father, and he pulls this face. Oh jeez, no, no. Okay, I I definitely should have got that hazmat suit, shouldn't I? I forgot completely. I guess you're not gonna scan anymore, are you? The mother calls and I must respond. Well, you kind of need to respond to the other mother who's calling up here. Where is she? Yeah, there's this mother as well, you know, Violet. Okay, this is terrible. This is the worst thing that could have happened. Go praise the great mother. She might think you're talking about her. You never know. You could blag this. You could blag this. Okay, so this has gone terribly. Zane is now possessed. 
And he's also gonna be a father. I don't know which possibility is more terrifying for him, but I am gonna go back home because I don't want to miss Briar's birth. So can I even get him to leave? Oh no, not this again. Oh geez. We're leaving in this state. Okay. Yeah, Briar's gonna love this. Maybe don't show her that. She's already panicking enough right now. She's angry enough. And oh my gosh, they were, were in labor. Okay, I'm really glad I came back home again because we are literally in labor. Right. I guess we're doing this. I guess we'll have it ourselves, a little baby. A little baby girl, please be just one. Because if you go and check the gender, it sometimes... Oh, I need to put the other bassinet. Will it get stuck in it though? I don't think so. Sometimes it's like, um, it's a girl, but what it doesn't tell you is like, it's a girl and 17 boys, you know? Okay, maybe I can place this fake bassinet here. Do you reckon that works? No, it does not. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, it's working. Okay, we're doing this. The final gen of Not So Very is being born. A miss destruction of stranger villains. Spores everywhere. This is going so well, so wonderfully. Jaden, get off the PC and it's a baby girl. Okay, please be just one. I need a blue girl's name. Let's have a look for some. Top 100 beautiful names that mean blue. Oh, there's some pretty ones here. Ooh, Azura. Oh, Azura like from Skyrim. Ooh. Bluebell, Clara May. Oh, that's so pretty. Iris, Iris is pretty. Oh, Lapis, like La Palo Labu from Minecraft. Oh, Sapphire is pretty as well. Oh, I don't know. Oh, but then we've got like, because of Amy and Jaden and the fact that he wants to go back to Mount Kumarebi, we could go for a name with Japanese origin because that's what that world is based on. Like Ruka is pretty. Celeste is so pretty as well. Oh my gosh, I'm really struggling here. Wait, Azula. Azu it's Azura from Skyrim. Azula is Avatar. Azula. Oh my gosh, that's such a badass name though. Aoko, is that how I say that one? <gasps> They're so pretty. I love Celia as well. <gasps> Neela's pretty. Neela is of Sanskrit origin and it means dark blue or sapphire. Neela. Neela Berry. I'm kind of tempted by Neela, guys. Livia or Livia. I don't know where the emphasis is, but it means blue and envious. A pretty name liked by Shakespeare. Livia. Yeah, let's go Livia. Because then I can say Liv for sure. And Liv's a cute name. <gasps> Livia Berry. Okay, the final gen. Livia Berry is here. <gasps> and it's just one. It's just one baby. It is just one little bubble of roost. There we go, guys. The final gen is here. Blue gen has been born. And so marks the beginning of the end for not so very. Who would you think this baby is going to look more like? Jaden or Briar? Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Zane, take your infected, infected butt away. What are you doing? Well, I wanted to breastfeed, but you're going straight in with the spore-infected bottle. Nice. Or maybe he's like, if she's breathing in spores, they'll be in her breast milk. I've, like, taken all the spores out of this formula milk. Trust me, this one's safer. Maybe he's, um, he's trying to be nice, you know? And there we go, guys. One baby, three sims, and one million spores. Um, <laughs> let me know what you think of the name Livia and our newest little addition to the family. Let me know what you think about Zane. Also having a baby. I guess we'll be learning what he has in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.